the Parliament, like it always does. All That's right, how our constitution that, works. On that, Clause 3 of the proposed <coughs> constitutional change says, Parliament shall have the power to make laws with respect to the voice, including its composition, functions, powers and procedures. Correct. But no legislation can limit the High Court's capacity to ensure the voice can exercise its constitutional functions of making representations to ministers and public servants. Correct? Yes, the and make representations. The and High the mini- Court has the final say. Oh, yes, the constitu- uh, the High Court has the final say over the entire Constitution. And I can tell you, in the history of our 120 years of our Constitution, people have attempted to take actions in the High Court, probably in respect of every provision. Somebody tries it out. But they're not going to get very far in relation to this drafting, because this drafting is very safe. It's been looked over by former High Court judges. It is as inert as it comes. Okay. You know, you know that there are some former High Court judges like Ian Callanoon who warned of a decade or more of constitutional and administrative law litigation. The constitutional law expert Greg Craven, who's voting yes, by the way, warned that the High Court challenges are a certainty. There's no doubt that Indigenous people will use the High Court to do this. So... There, oh. there are a few legal experts, and I acknowledge there are plenty of legal experts who agree with what you're yeah. saying, but there are yep. others who've got you know, concerns. Law and legal challenges are all about, oh, is there an angle that we can try out? And many of those attempts result in the court saying, sorry, guys, you're, you're trying to attack this provision with that argument, but that's not sustainable. I'm enjoying this conversation 